Back when I was a student in England, one of my professors, very wise man, told me, he said, look, he said, you don't need to underestimate the power of a single focal point in a garden, and you can achieve that through interesting ornamental trees. Well, at that point, I had never seen a purple smoke tree, and that's what this is. Uh, the genus is Cotinus, and I just love it. This one's called Royal Purple, and the reason it's called a smoke tree, look at this ethereal bloom. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, the reason to grow it really isn't so much for the bloom, but this incredible foliage. And it stays this purpley red, the new foliage, throughout the summer. And then in the fall, you begin to see this purple and green turn to reds and yellows and really bright scarlet. It's a fantastic tree, one of my favorites. There are really so many wonderful ornamental trees like this to consider. Another great favorite of mine is the Japanese maple. There's so many varieties. You know, collecting these plants can almost become an obsession. In fact, a friend of mine, Larry Morphew, got into Japanese maples a few years ago, and well, it's gotten completely out of control with him. What a lot of people don't understand is there are hundreds of different Japanese maples that you can choose from, and the important thing is to choose a Japanese maple that fits your landscape and fits your need. This is a green variety, and because of the sun that has been here, I have planted this in a pot sort of to test out whether I want to leave this here or not. Uh, you can leave it for a year or two. In fact, this one's been there for about a year and after this summer I'll decide if it stays here or I move it here uh, to some other location to give it more. Japanese maples prefer morning sun and afternoon shade. If you can give them that scenario, they appreciate it. Of course, they like moisture. You need to keep them moist, but they need to have good drainage. This is one of my very favorite lace leaf Japanese maples or dissectum. This is an Inaba Shidari. It grows 9 to 15 feet tall, and as you can see, it is here by the porch, and I want to keep it contained to around 9 feet. Of course, they are cascading plants, so it will take some pruning to keep this tree to the size that I want in this particular space. You have to be very careful of that. This tree right here is about a five-year-old tree. Another one is this one that we have here, which is the blood good, and I have a few varieties of blood good here to show you the difference in ages. This one, for example, is still green. Uh, this brings up the point that you have to have some sun to get uh, the red color on a Japanese maple. This one has been in the greenhouse and it hasn't got a lot of sun on it, so it's still green. But this was grafted last year, this was three years ago, and this is a five-year-old uh, Japanese maple blood good. And these also take sun relatively well. When I first planted this blood good, I was a little skeptical of where I was going to put it. So what I did was I planted the pot and all in the ground. I kept it in the ground for about nine months and it did really well through the summer. So I, I brought it up, took the pot off, put it back in the ground and it's done it really well since. In short, if you want a really be beautiful Japanese maple, what you need to do is choose a healthy plant, put it where you want it in a good location, morning, sun, afternoon shade, preferable. Give it plenty of moisture and prune it when it is dormant in the winter time. Up to 20% pruning, it will make that tree much more fuller and beautiful when it comes out in the spring.